that up. Went ahead. All right, let's go. Galileo. Code Aqua. Password is Delta. Activate all security and camouflage measures. Of course, sir. Uh... Everything should be fine now. Look, just go find a spot to sit or something while I go clean up. You can't really leave anyway, so... You might as well just... Fuck, I don't know. Do something. Look, I, I said I'm fine, just... Just find something to do. I'll, I'll deal with you after. Just leave me alone. Go get some food or lay down or whatever. I've got better things to do than to worry about you right now. Hey, what the fuck did I say? Like I said, I'm fine. Why do you want to help me anyway? You know who I am. You know what I do. So why the fuck are you trying to help me? Because you care. Okay, why the fuck do you care? You want to repay me. This is nothing compared to the other shit I had to go through. I don't need your charity. Lie? Why would I lie about this? Just because I'm a little banged up doesn't mean I can't take care of myself. Don't step any closer. Look, seriously. Stay away from me. I thought people wanted to stay away from the bad guy, not help them. <laughs> you trust me. Why the fuck would you ever do something like that? Are you stupid? Did you hit yourself on the head? Or did spending so much time with that stupid hero of yours mess up your fucking brain? Hey, hey, don't... Hold on, don't cry. Fuck, fuck. Okay, listen. <laughs> Look, I don't think you trusting me is a good idea. I'm a wanted man with the highest bid for his head. Everyone wants me dead, and yet no one would care if I disappeared. I'm not the person you used to know once upon a time. <sighs> You're naive. You think that this world is full of fucking rainbows and sunshine, and that as long as you believe there's good people in the world, everything will be okay. Well, I got news for you, sweetheart. You're wrong. The world is a cruel and cold place. And truth be told, I think you being stuck here with me will probably be the worst thing you'll ever have to experience in your life. Safe. You feel safe. You are in my territory. My domain, there is nothing safe about me. There will never be anything safe about me. I'm the bad guy, princess. That's all this world will ever see me as. Until the day I kick the bucket. Stop.
stop. Just stop. You don't know me anymore. I'm not that same person I once was. Not anymore. This is who I am now. I know we were once close friends, but you had your own life to live. You spent too much time trying to take care of me. I had nothing to offer but to protect you whenever I could. But even then I was broken. I'm still broken. The world hated me. The world still hates me. And nothing will ever change that. Not even you could fix me. I made my own choice. I wanted to hurt the people that left me behind. I want them to feel the pain that I feel. I want them to hurt. To cry. To bleed. To suffer with every waking moment of their life. <sighs> it's too late for sorries. I've made my own choices. I don't need your pity. So you're really here to thank me. Like I said, I don't want... No! Stop! I said I don't need any help. I don't want your help. I don't need anyone. I... Why? Why? Because if I let you, you'll just get hurt. I won't be able to stop myself. What do I mean? It means I'm going to be selfish. It means I'm probably going to be doing something I'll regret for the rest of my life. Like what? Like this. Mm. Mm. This damn bastard gets everything he wants in life at the drop of a hat, and he took the one thing I've always wanted. You. The damn bastard flaunted you around the city and had to sit back and watch as you smiled next to him. The way he put his filthy hands on you made me see red. I have no right to feel this way, but watching him get down on one knee as he proposed to you, I, I fucking lost it. That's why I took you. Part of me knows this is an awful idea. Hell, this is probably the worst idea I've had in my life. I'm a bastard. I thought pushing you away would be the best choice for the both of us. I thought... I was doing the right thing. And the worst part? I was right. You lived the life you wanted. You worked hard and got everything you needed and more. In fact, I couldn't have wished for anything else, but I never stopped thinking about you. But I knew, after seeing what I'd become, that you wouldn't want anything to do with me. I hate myself for wanting you so fucking much. So the textbook definition of ethereal and joy. Life was a bit more bearable with you in my life. I made the idiotic choice of letting you go. I had to go through this life watching you be happy, but then, then that idiot, he wormed his way into your life and stuck by your side like a fucking leech, a disgusting fly, a pest. I've never been so... Okay, 
I was overtaken by jealousy. Whenever I saw him with you, I saw red. I nearly couldn't control myself. But I knew deep down inside it wouldn't make a difference. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for letting you down. I'm sorry I couldn't be the person you hoped I would be. I'm sorry for everything. I hope that one day you can forgive. Mm. What? This isn't some sick joke, is it? Look, I'd rather not do this if... You do? But then... Then why the fuck did I see you? Nearly every damn day hanging around with that bastard. Laughing and smiling together. Part of the job. So, you mean to tell me that you basically spent time with him as part of a job? But then wait, so was that proposal? Wait, that was real? <laughs> what a fucking lunatic. So he thought you liked him and yet, and yet you're here, not running from me. You kissed me. Are you afraid of me? <laughs> Cause not, you say. Fine, I, I just need help patching up my back, if that's all right with you. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Ow. Ow. What? What's wrong? <laughs> you like the way I look? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, you can keep touching me. What? No, I'm fine, just sitting here. Oh, it's, I just, it's, it's been a while since anyone's touched me. Mm. Not really their fault, though. Can blame them, really. More? You mean, okay, yeah, yeah, that that's okay. <laughs> <laughs>